Happy Tuesday, Monday. I got my days all mixed up. So here I am doing my Monday video on a Tuesday. Dan, I wanted to pick it up uh, where you left off with most embarrassing stories and share one of my most embarrassing stories. Um, I, as you indicated, I have many and many of them are pretty much due to my own stupidity, but um, this one, this one, yeah, this one kind of stands out for me as being one of the most embarrassing things that, that ever happened to me. I was about 12 years old, so it does go back to my childhood too, and I was taking swimming lessons at a pool, a local pool, and uh, the class had always been kind of weird because there were only three girls, three of us in the class, and it was taught by a guy who uh, was rather intimidating. He was like probably in his early 20s and we were all these little prepubescent girls. And uh, yeah, just suffice it to say that it never felt very comfortable. I was wearing a very old bathing suit for this class. My mother wouldn't spring for a new one because she felt this one still fit me. And it was a two-piece bathing suit and uh, it was really kind of old fashioned on top and it had this little, like a proper full bottom, but the elastic, the elastic was really bad. It had been washed over and over again. In addition to the chlorine in the pool, you get the picture. But it was okay because this was a length swimming class. So we pretty much, all we ever did was swim lengths. It was really quite boring. But on the last class, he decided, the, the instructor decided, that we were going to dive. We were going to do diving, practice diving. This was really out of the blue, because we didn't do diving in this class. I was really, really nervous because the elastic of my, uh, the bottom of my bathing suit was not in good shape. So I got up and uh, got onto the diving board and I didn't want to dive. And so he barked at me, Claire, dive. So thinking that I should probably do as I was told, I dove into the pool and realized as I was coming up to the surface that my bathing suit bottoms weren't on my body anymore. So I stayed in the pool and he barked at me to get out of the pool. And I said, I can't. He said, Claire, get out of the pool. I said, I can't. Why? Because I don't have my bathing suit bottoms on anymore. So he said, well, go and swim to the bottom and find them. And I'm like, I don't think so. Because you know when you in, you're in a pool and you have to kind of lift your body up to go down? There was no way I was having my bum come up over the surface of the pool. So, I, of course, I said no. So he said to the two other girls, oh, for God's sakes, go in and find her bathing suit bottom so we can get her out of the pool. So they dove in, swam around, couldn't find the bottom of my bathing suit. What to do now? So he uh, thought about it for a few seconds, and then he went, oh, I have an extra Speedo in the office. I'll just go get it for you. Great. So he went into the office. He got the extra Speedo. It was purple and he handed it to me, where upon I fidgled and fadgled with it under the water, pulled it up, and I'm like, ew, he's worn this. I'm only 12 years old, for God's sakes. And I tie the string so that it stays on my body, and I get out of the water. And of course, the other two girls are just dying to see what this is gonna look like. Not only was it probably one of the ugliest bathing suits, but it was see-through. And that became super apparent once I got out of the water. And I just bombed it to the change room. Bombed it so that Mr. Instructor didn't get a chance to see my bum crack. Anyway, that was a really difficult experience for me. It definitely stands out. I was at that really sensitive age where we're all developing and stuff and I find myself in a pool with no bottoms on. Yeah, that one stands out. Uh, the only other thing I wanna say is I really hate my hair. 
Have a good week. See you next week. I'm a self-destructive fool. Self